The Portuguese paper and pulp producer Grupo Portucel Soporcel was named Business of the Year at the 2013 European Business Awards. GPS turns over one and a half billion euro a year, selling over one and a half million tons of paper to customers in more than 110 countries. But what so impressed the Business Awards judges is that GPS is not just about paper. It operates a sustainable and integrated business model, generating profit from every step in its value chain. One tree produces two tradable goods in pulp and paper, and two utilities, steam and electricity. GPS is the largest producer of energy from biomass in Portugal and part of its production is powered by biomass. And in producing more pulp than it needs for its paper production, it sells 300,000 tons of pulp into the market annually. The GPS success story begins here, at its Research Institute in Aveiro. It invests between 1.5% and 2% of its annual turnover in R&D. Extensive research over the years has shown that one species of tree, the Eucalyptus globulus, contains properties that are most conducive to the production of a premium brand of office paper. Here at the Institute everything is done to try and genetically improve the species, and that includes attempting to eradicate a species of weevil that is its greatest enemy. What GPS learns from its investment in R&D, it shares with the 400,000 forestry owners in Portugal. Although it owns and manages forest estates of its own, it produces no more than 15% of its own needs. The rest it buys on the open market. That's why it takes great effort in incentivizing local plantation owners to improve the quality of their estates. This is at the root of GPS's sustainability model. It set the blueprint for a certified forestry management model to the extent that the Food and Agricultural Organization of United Nations has cited Portugal as an example to be followed all over the world on account of GPS's practices. Despite an overall excess capacity of 20% in the worldwide paper market, since 2002 GPS has invested a billion euro in new technology. The group now operates at maximum capacity, increasing its own paper production by 50%, thanks in part to this paper machine at its mill in Setubal. It's the only one of its kind in Europe, and at over 200 meters long, produces sheets at a rate of 30 meters per second. Investing in a new asset base sends a clear message to its customers, that it believes in the future and will be here for the long term. These new production techniques, stemming from its commitment to R&D and supported by methodical quality testing, has allowed GPS to bring to market many of its own brands of paper, including the Navigator, the world's best-selling premium office paper. In fact, new brands account for 64% of sales. GPS's success is underpinned by the investment it's made in sustainability. A case in point is its nursery program. The Aspira estate, an hour south of Lisbon, is Europe's largest nursery for forestry plants, where GPS produces about 12 million plants a year, destined not only to serve its own production needs in the future, but to renew Portugal's woodlands. And now, as GPS looks for new opportunities for growth, the group is developing a new forestry project in Mozambique in conjunction with the International Finance Corporation, a member of the World Bank who are promoting sustainability of forestry operations in Mozambique. In Portugal, GPS manages 120,000 hectares of woodland. Here in Mozambique, it'll be managing three times that, at the same time as providing a much needed boost to the local economy. The yield from the forests here will help GPS gain a foothold in the burgeoning Chinese and Indian markets. GPS's contribution to the national economy is significant. Nearly 5,500 Portuguese businesses are involved in the supply chain. And it takes these responsibilities seriously, adhering to a model of sustainability that not only ensures long-term business success for itself, but also safeguards the Portuguese landscape for future generations.